typically, in my own average speech, I'll end it on that serious note. I'll just hold like Chris Rock, like draw it, boom, right here. I'm just like, peace, LTHS, leave. That's how I normally do it. But no, this is the speech before prom weekend. So I can't leave you all feeling this emotion, whatever you're feeling right now. Even though I truly hope you listen to me, and I truly hope, like I said, I'm a voice of consideration going forward. But instead, I want to end this on a bit of a, a lighter note. So with that being said, LSMHS, I have a confession. Earlier, when I was speaking about 55 minutes ago, and I told you guys the first words out of my mouth, that I was incredibly excited to be here because of that 2007 speech that I gave, that was completely true. But it wasn't the full truth. You see, the reason, another reason why I'm incredibly excited to be here is because on that day in the hospital, back in 2009, when I was dying, and I found that list of the bucket list items that I did for Roger Mouse class, and I started writing and continuing from 30 all the way to 75. During that time, all of the items that I have chosen to write between 30 and 75 largely had to do with things I had experienced up to that point, most of them being things that I had already done that I want to go and do again. So while I was in the hospital, I ended up writing number 43, Return to LCHS, to give a speech to a large portion of students. And I swear to every single one of you, I did not just make that up for this speech. I wasn't like, oh, that would be a cool closer. <laughs> this has literally been hanging, dangling on my bucket list for years. And I've always contemplated and wondered, will I have a chance to do this? Will I have an opportunity to go back and do this? And here I am right now, and ladies and gentlemen, just by being here, by being a cool crowd, besides a couple people who, you know, decided to heckle, whatever. It was your choice, a bad one, uh, boom, what a bad. <laughs> you guys helped me achieve that today, and I cannot thank you enough. But, but, <laughs> but I didn't stop there in 09. See, as you get older, some of the things that you look at right now and you think like, oh, that's kind of nerdy, that's kind of lame. As you get older, you develop stuff that you guys might know as like dad humor, for example. You just like, you can't control it, it just starts happening, you start saying things, it's not just like your parents. It's all cliches, but cliches come from truth. And that's what you start becoming. And as I was sitting there, as I was dying in the hospital, thinking about that speech I gave in 07, after writing this one, I remember sitting up there and I usually sat about like right, right over there. Yeah, the guy in the yellow shirt, yeah. That's pretty much where I sat, usually. <laughs> and while I was sitting up there, I, I remember watching Ben have the mic, probably this microphone, and walk around and like do a school pep rally and half of us were just like, oh, what's a 311, this sucks. But when I was sitting there dying in the hospital, I was like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if like, I did add a little bit to that speech? So I wrote number 44 and that speech at LTHS by leading the students in a school fight song. And it is, I know, I know, it was written in the 50s, it's kind of lame. I get it. We all know it, right? Chicky, cha, cha, ha, 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 ha,